Welcome everybody, welcome team. And on this MITMAC Masterclass episode, we're gonna dive into a subject of self-driving car technology. Is it a good thing, is it a bad thing? I think it's a great thing. And there's seven advantages that I've picked with one major disadvantage. Are you ready to get into it? Anna-Marie and Eddie as always. Yes. Let's do it. Team, there's lots of advantages. We're gonna get into seven advantages of self-driving cars, yeah. benefits, potentially life-saving benefits. But I think in my opinion, the one massive disadvantage, I don't know how you feel, but for me, driving is, a, is an experience. We are spoiled in our industry, like, you know, I almost never drive the same car twice, except on weekends. Yeah. So we get to experience each and every day, from Jaguars to Minis to BMWs to Porsches to Polos, whatever. I think self-driving cars will take that pleasure away from me twice a day. I don't yeah. know how you feel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we pick for it. Colleagues, that's what we are. No, there's no one no. to race with on our way home. <laughs> race with, okay. <laughs> ra ra race to 60. Yeah. We race to 60. Yeah. I mean, I mean we still, you can race driving 100. Oh. So long as you know. In a 120 zone. Yeah. In a 120 yeah. zone. Yeah. So for everyone watching out there, we race to the speed limit. That's us. <laughs> that's us. We have fun. Okay. I think on a serious note, diving into the first topic, I think today we're going to go ladies first. Mm. The deployment of self-driving vehicles. The first topic I want to cover is what about disabled people? How amazing will that technology affect their lives in, in, in them being able to do things for themselves? No, I agree. Um, can you imagine, sit back, we, we're not disabled. We don't know what it feels yes, like, yeah. but I can just imagine myself if I don't have arms mm. So I always need someone to drive for me yeah. For the first time in my life. I would be able to get into that car and Voice activated I guess yeah. and I can go I'm free for the first time of my life. Yeah. So any other disability um, wheelchair bound then no modification suddenly anymore or actually, so, which which might be expensive, and it's still depending on on which area you yes. you, yeah. you you you've got difficulties with. I mean, most of the areas they can't cater for. Yeah. But but any disability that doesn't allow you to drive now, you would be able to drive. So, yeah. so I think the benefit there is in, in, in it's, it's, it's enormous. I mean, you can think of elderly people um, for their doctor's appointments if they have to pick up medication. Yeah. There were there was two steps to this. Yeah, they, yes. they either had to talk to someone, make a phone call. Now that one step has been eliminated. Yeah. Right? Instead of asking someone to drop you off, you can just talk to your car. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, so it even counts for that, and we actually miss that part. Yeah. That's not a disability, that, that, but at a certain age, you don't want to drive anymore. And um, you guys have great intuition because that was number five. Oh. So we we went from one to five, but let's let's finish that. Yeah. You you know. Uh, I wish for all of us and all of you guys watching the video, you grow very old yeah. and, and you experience that. But I mean, can you imagine we are in our 30s and 40s, prime of your life, strong, healthy, and eventually you will lose the strength. You're going to lose the ability, your flexibility. Your knees are going to get sore. Yeah. And, you know, getting in and out of a car will be difficult, never mind driving a car. And having to rely on your kids or your grandchildren to take you somewhere and who knows what mood they're going to be in. Yeah. Imagine just being independent and doing it's it on your own. independence. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. No, cool. that is amazing. So. Cool. Second talk. So, so, so we've covered one and five. Yeah. Let's go for number two. <laughs> okay, sure. okay. We'll bounce back and forth. You guys are very good. <laughs> so since 90, I've got it as 90% of car crashes are due to human error. How many car crashes do you think will actually occur if technology and data drives the vehicle? Look, if, if you want to compare um, what can a uh, computer system do compared to, to what a human being can do. I mean, the K53 book doesn't teach, teach us how to handle disaster whilst driving. I mean, the, there's a reason why that Bluetooth is there. And it's not always that when you answer your phone, you receive good news. You might react to it. 
you might you might just not be able to concentrate after receiving one phone call, which is most unlikely to happen to your computer. I don't think um, somebody will call in and tell the Imagine. system that you just exactly. lost your brother or something like that. <laughs> and not even that. Mm. The fact that we've been driving for many years, yeah. but I'm still frightened of the fact that I need to allow my child to get into that car in less than a year yeah. and drive on his own going to Durban, going to Cape Town, going with elsewhere to no exactly. with K50 that yeah. exactly that yeah. and that's my concern. I mean, we're we so. emotional beings. Um, at times you, you have deadlines to, to meet, oh, you rush you to don't. meetings. Yeah, so, so there's, there's, there's a lot that can go wrong. We have some uncourteous drivers, you know, some badge more than another badge. They don't like using indicators. Yeah. You know, then we get emotional. Now we want to overtake them and talk to them. Owners that drive you know, the same some, as what some of Eddie's in. crew. Yeah, some of Eddie's <laughs> crew. We want. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the, the, the computer can can't get look. emotional. Yeah, there's there's a lot to look at. I mean, the, the, there's a guy that gets uh, a clap at home if he's late. You know, <laughs> you, he takes you, that into the car. You, you never know why that guy is driving it's so nice fast. And, and but by the way, just a quick fact. Um, your, your newer vehicles, like your vehicle, your vehicle, my vehicle I'm driving, um, they, 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 they use drive-by wire. So yeah. there's no actual accelerator cable yeah. connected to anything. It's, yeah. it's, it's all a computer. And it, it makes up to a thousand calculations a second based on your throttle yeah. position. Sure. A thousand calculations a second. That's just on one aspect. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, that technology is, has existed for the last 15 years and, or, or longer. Uh, imagine what technology will be available, how many cameras, you know, predictive analytics, all that comes into play. Speaking of that, that's why I gave up trying to be a mechanic because back in the days, if the car didn't accelerate, I knew I, knew I had to look for a cable that extends it. And no, no, I, I just couldn't find that cable and I thought, okay, this is not for me. So, so today's <laughs> mechanics are very simple. It's, it's simple to interview. Me. You just see him. If he comes in here with a, with a toolbox, you don't hire him. <laughs> if he comes in here with a laptop or an or a iPad or something yeah, like that, that's, that's guy. your guy. Yes, for today's call. Yeah. Unfor unfortunately, unfortunately, it's true. Mm. Yeah. So uh, number three, I'm going to grab number three because it's, it's a subject that I'm passionate about. And, um, you know, what will happen to the incidents caused by drinking and driving? So I don't drink any alcohol. I haven't drank a drop of alcohol in many, many years. I just got worried because you said you're passionate about, about it. And drink. when you started that, I thought, oh, my word. So, so imagine you can be very comfortable to go out for supper with your wife or your husband and have a glass That's of wine, wine. Yeah. have a beer, and, and be like, whether I have a beer or not, the don't safety, a, there we go, driver. the safety of my getting home is, is, you know, on, on a system so sophisticated, I can't even begin to understand it. So, so perhaps that's an advantage. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can spend in the back seat. you can spend another 15 minutes in the car with your wife, not well, concentrating on well, the... Discussing the, yeah, no, discussing no, the dinner. Yeah, yeah, I think <laughs> that's... Discussing the dinner. Let, let okay, to that, yes. okay so, 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 the, <laughs> so the cars will still retain some of that value that they add in our lives, yeah. yes. especially after dinner day. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> 15 minutes Max. chatting. Chatting Cut. on your way home. Yeah. Yes. Good Chat. conversation, bad conversation. We still make it home safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, beautiful. I want you to take this one. <coughs> Having established that there will be less crashes, uh, no need to test drink, drinking and driving um, um, you know, p passengers yeah. or drivers because they won't be drivers, they'll be passengers. How much time will the police have to focus on actually preventing crime and following up on leads? All of that time. Because yeah. there's going to be definitely, I can imagine there's going to be less accidents. Yes, it's, it's still another couple of years for us to go. But there's going to be less accidents, no harm, less um, deaths on our roads. And that is enormous amount. And they can actually so, focus the resources yeah, they on, can, on following up crimes. Mm. And, 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 and do what they need to do. Because yeah, we're yeah. spending Serve a lot of... Yeah. For, for productive things. Not, not, not that what they're doing now is counterproductive, but it, it takes a massive resource to manage all this drinking oh, and right, driving and, and, and accident scenes, clean up, investigations. They can focus all that energy onto something else. Only on what's needed. And, and Eddie, um, Anna-Marie briefly touched on it. I want you to elaborate... Um, 
how will that affect the insurance company, healthcare? You know, all of that will be affected. So perhaps if I'm an insurance company, I'm not a big fan of, of, of self-driving vehicles. I'm, I'm, I'm not loving that technology yeah. because it means... Premiums are going to be less, if any. I mean, you're you insuring risks. So at this moment, we can't tell how much will the risk be eliminated, but we know a very big uh, at percentage. At least 90%. Yes. Well, so, we do realize, and most 90%. probably self-driving, if they go that extent of self-driving, the vehicle will possibly not be able to be accessed without that voice control. Mm. So you're going to need that person, so less lost vehicles, less yeah. stolen vehicles. Yeah. So, so, so going back to that, um, I think the less the lesser cars on the road, the lesser accidents on the road, the lesser injuries on the road. I mean, everybody wants. Yes, yeah, for sure. I think just whoever drives this, and uh, I know it's coming. It's definitely coming. Yeah, it's, 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 it. it's actually not coming. It's yeah. here already. The Teslas and the and the, the GMs. It's here already. Please, so that uh, I'm comfortable in the future. Make sure that there's designated places where I can still drive my car my way, especially that's a manual. Cool. That's all we ask. I mean, you're already missing the stick at this, uh, yeah. as we speak. You still, you still want manual. to change gears <laughs> and, 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 and they're becoming more scarce. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's amazing. I can't wait and I think it's phenomenal. It's yeah. going gonna, gonna to really, really help us save lives. Great topic. Thank you very much. Thank and uh, thank you to everybody that watched this episode. Hit the like button if you did like and you can do the subscribe, I'll do the ring the bell. Let's do it. And what are we doing? As I need well? to subscribe. And ring the bell. Ring a bell. Thank you very much and take care, everybody. Bye bye.